Three scenes, Stefan Edberg in the Newsweek Champions Cup. It's live on ESPN. On this occasion, he meets a good first serve with a flat. He slightly comes over that, realises he's got a good shot, then moves into the attacking position. You can see him play that first volley that went in behind. His... So this is a bit of a toss-up. Sampras will start. This is the best of three sets tomorrow. You can watch live coverage at 11 o'clock Pacific Coast time, 2 o'clock on the East Coast, best of five. Did you say he was going to serve a lot out the forehand side, Peters? The nice, not a bad way to go. first serves when we're talking uh, direction here. Watch this again, Well, guys. Pete Sampras gets Stefan Eberg into trouble with that forehand cross court, but he plays it sort of nonchalantly. Could have hit that a little bit more effectively, a little bit lower, and that gave Edberg a little bit of a chance to angle away that volley, but he's always quick to get into the net, and that beautiful technique, racket head up, punching yeah. straight through that ball cross court. Pulled over, he moved in to cut off the angle and got the volley that he wanted. There's another one out there to the forehand. And now lives down in Tampa, Florida. As it would uh, make that number look small. In fact, he's had one guarantee that will outweigh that total number. A million, and he leads the 94 earnings for this year, by the way. He's his first point, serve and volley. Vitas Gerolaitis felt he would do. The first serve on this ad court goes straight down the middle into the body. He jams Pete Sampras, gets the high volley for the put away. Good points, but uh, good staccato stuff. Just get there and get the shot. Bother him, but gee, at, at times it comes at an awkward stage. Turns out this is one of them because he's facing a break. Now he gets a little unlucky. He gets a good look at the volley, plays a good volley off this one. Nice volley, but this passing shot, he's got it covered. Hits the top of the tape, so in the early going here. Comes back anyway with that first serve right into Sampras' body. And that's a good... Coming into today's match, and he's he lost one of them. So he's only lost his serve once this week. In fact, he's not with him. Picard is, uh, as Stefan said, he's probably seen more of uh, Stefan Edberg than he has seen of his wife oh. over the last few. One game ball in the first. Uh, they've got to stretch for a lot of balls when you're playing a serve and volley, and uh, so he won those very comfortably. It was not much tougher for Pete Sampras getting to this. Oh, he got it. Crisply hit again, that backhand. You've got to watch out for that shot. It's a carbon copy of the, of the first point where he just gets... The preparation is so perfect, he can hesitate just that very fraction. Sampras commits to the down the line, and then he can flick it cross court. Look at how beautifully he prepares. Stays down on the ball and just... Light. Important early in these matches, particularly against two fellows like this, that know how tough it is to win against one oh. another. This match is player in the world. Volley that set. Well, we talked about the return of serve being critical, and uh, the last game Edberg had four chances, and this game Sampras.
Hedberg, of course, is number four in the world. But he... This is somebody who is flying above this tennis court. Turn a serve, did the damage again. Deuce. Nice court coverage and another game point here for Edberg. He's trailing four games to one. <laughs> Got that one out very wide. Good play, weren't they? Yep. Edberg keeps his hopes alive in this game. And then Press a little bit and miss a few. He didn't even come into the net behind that one. Yep, that is a good shot from Sampras. That was to his serve. Excusable. Game point. That's just too good. And also. 4-1. This is a big game for him. Seven deuces. He called it wide. Oh. Edberg doesn't like that one. Well, I'd like to see the replay on that one. Uh, that, uh, we look as though it jumped right on the line. I think this is one of the few times the replay will show that this ball was in. Did play it a little bit with a bit of hesitation, but that was clearly in. It's strongly questioning a call because he is so gentle out there, but this is break point. Well, this service game has really been a struggle for Stefan Edberg. 4-2, he's only down that one break, and he figures, hey, I've had some break point opportunities on the Sampras serve, I'm still in there. Very nice. Closed that gap very well. He knew that Sampras really only had one way to go. Stefan Edberg here angles this volley, and it's a great volley, but look at the court coverage he has to get because Sampras anticipated that play, the slider down the line. Also getting a serve in, I think, than anything else. Another first serve, and the crowd appreciate the fact that Edberg held on. He's still down a break, folks. 4-2 in the first set. That's why this guy's won $16 million. That's right. <laughs> about anything it all just happens and that's when you know you're playing well in the zone and yeah. he's way off today serving at close to 70 percent of all three previous matches that got a little low for baseline really well Edberg will be happy with that game, two aces in one game, even though, have a look at the difference on the service speed. Edberg serves an ace 107 miles an hour, it's not exactly. So if it's got to be now. He's also saying if he serves like that, this Look out. Oh, he has a break point chance for Edberg. He's had four already, all in the same game. Did not Edberg. convert. Remember, he had low 40 in that game. You think made the mistake, did the little jog over there. That's terrific. Go when he really wants it. Now the crowd picks Sampras. These fellows have personality here today for the semi final. Five aces for Sampras.
Going into the bread and butter side, the forehand side again, and it is Pete Sampras who has won the first set behind 